I'm Suzanne McNeil. Had so much fun making friendship bracelets with my children and my grandchildren. So let, I'm just going to show you how to get started today. So first you need some floss. I like DMC or Prism floss. They're wonderful colors and always good quality. Usually I like to choose a few colors, about three colors that look good together. And if you want to add beads, it's optional, but just be sure and get ones with big holes so it's easy to uh, get the thread through. So I'm just going to start one right here. I've chosen these three colors. And these uh, little skeins are wonderful because I can put my three colors together and those colors just pull right out. So here's a one yard measure. If you're a child, you might want to face away from it so you get a little more length. And here's two yards, perfect length. I'm going to cut that off. And I normally use children's scissors just because if they're blunt tip, you can even take them on the airplane and they won't take them up. I'm going to fold this in half. And now I'm just tying a simple overhand knot. So I wrap it around my fingers and I pull that fold right through the loop. And now I have a perfect little knot with a little hole in it to make it easy to tie on. I like to use a little safety pin. If I'm at home, I can actually pin this to like a little pillow on my sofa to work, or my grandchildren like to pin it onto their jeans leg to work. So now I'm going to show you how simple it is to start. I'm just going to choose one of my colors. Now this is uh, called a French twist. And this is one of the simpler styles, and then in another YouTube, I'll show you a little more advanced. So I hold these threads down steady. I take this color and make a little circle, and then I put my fingers through that hole and pull that thread. I'm going to show you that to you several times. Make a circle. Put your fingers through there. Catch that thread and pull that right up. Make a circle, put your fingers through the hole, pull the thread, make a circle, put your fingers through the hole, pull that thread, and you just simply repeat that. If I'm going to make a bracelet that I want all the three colors to show on, I'm going to show you how to switch colors in just a minute. Okay, now I have just a, about half an inch here, or you could do a one inch or two inch. And now I'm going to switch colors. So now I'm going to get the yellow ones. And again, I'm going to hold these down with my left hand. I take these, I make a circle, put my fingers through, and pull that thread. Pull it up taut, make a circle. Put my fingers through, pull that thread. Make a circle, put my fingers, pull that thread, and I repeat that over and over. I was teaching my uh, grandchildren how to do this this last weekend when they came to visit. And when their dad came to pick them up, he was like, Oh, that's great, Audrey and Seth. I still have the friendship bracelets that I made when I was in high school. And I have them upstairs in a shoebox in the attic. I thought that was so interesting that something he did when he was in high school, a craft project, was so valuable to him that he still has them now that he's almost 40 years old. <laughs> so the way I learned to make friendship bracelets... So I was in Guatemala, and the weavers there had leftover threads, so they would give them to their children and the children would make these knotted bracelets to sell to tourists and to trade among themselves, their little friends. So they taught me how to make the first friendship bracelets. So you can see as you repeat that over and over, you end up with these beautiful little twisted French twist stripes. Now, I'm not going to take the time to finish this. Here's one that's all one color. Here's one that's the same three colors I'm using. I did add beads here. And here's another one that my granddaughter made for me. So definitely I have to keep that one. So let me show you a few finished uh, bracelets. Now these are a little more advanced. 
and I recommend that everyone start with a French twist and then go to the stripes and uh, here are some of the books that I've published. Here's the French twist instructions. You can see the basic knot. You pin or tape it and then here's the knot that I was showing you right here on the YouTube. And if you want to rerun the YouTube you can see that again. Here's some more simple variations and here's the basic stripe. Same knot, just a different configuration. So these books are wonderful aids. Something every child or um, teen should have in their library. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to make these. Audrey's nine years old. She did so good. She learned the beginner beginner bracelet and the beginner bracelet. Aren't these beautiful? Now she's going to share them with her friends.